we invite you to pour a cup of coffee and enjoy the masterworks with the cam. <laughs> We often call our holiday music celebrations a cantata. And I asked my daughter today, what is a cantata? She said, I don't know. So we're going to try to answer that question. What is a cantata? I often give the illustration of law enforcement fighting counterfeiters and counterfeit money. And the question is, how do they combat and how do they identify counterfeit money? And so the answer is, they study the characteristics of genuine bills. In the same way, we want to try that as we consider the cantata. What are the characteristics of a cantata? And uh, we have a great example here that we have recently recorded with the Choral Artists of Michigan. This is Box Cantata 140. We can help to find the cantata by its performing forces. In the late Renaissance, early Baroque, it was really a vocal solo with continuo group. And as it developed in its heyday, the late Baroque saw two great composers. Telemann wrote over a thousand sacred cantatas. And then Bach, of course, wrote close to 300 cantatas. This great example, Bach uses the forces of the chorus soloists, so we see a soprano, tenor, and bass soloist, and of course, small instrumental group accompanying. This first tenor recitative, remember the recitative is going to move the story along. The tenor exclaims, he comes, the bridegroom is coming. And then we'll hear a small example from soprano, representing the soul, saying, I am ready for the groom to come, and of course, then the bass representing God saying, I am coming, we will enjoy the wedding feast.
We said we can define the cantata by its performing forces, in this case a chorus, soloists, and an instrumental group. We can define the cantata by its length, and we can define a cantata by its subject matter. In the case of the subject matter, we have a biblical text that's paraphrased. And in the case of the length, we have, you could almost call it a shortened oratorio. It's certainly dramatic, it's sacred, and it's not staged with costumes. We're going to enjoy a tenor chorale, followed by an example from the bass recitative. And then we'll hear a bit of the soprano bass duet where they sing, I am yours and you are mine. Notice that Bach weaves that chorale tune throughout the cantata. You could almost say that that tune is part of what unifies the complete work. So we close with a hymn-like setting of the chorale. The hymn-like setting we call homophonic, meaning all voices and instruments come together and sing the same thing at the same time. We close with this text, No eye has seen, no ear has heard of the internal joy that you will bring. We hope you enjoyed this masterwork, Box Cantata 140, Wackadauf. Good morning.